Fox 5 Health News now, where robotic surgery is used in all sorts of procedures, including heart and prostate cancer operations. But now the multi-armed robot called the Da Vinci System is under investigation by the FDA because of some safety concerns. And in response, Intuitive Surgical, the makers of the Da Vinci robot, told Fox 5, and here we quote, Intuitive's highest priority is, and always has been, to provide patient benefit, creating products that in a surgeon's hands are safe, effective, and minimally invasive. Joining us now is Fox News contributor Dr. David Samadhi. He is also a robotic prostate cancer surgeon. Good to have you with us Thank you. this evening. Thank you. Okay, uh, so Dr. Samadhi, there's some big concerns about this robot, particularly the Da Vinci robot. There have actually been reports of deaths and also freak accidents. What is the concern or the problem specifically with the Da Vinci robot? So this robot, the technology has been around for now 12 years and hundreds of thousands of these cases have been done. Like any other technology, if you have experienced surgeons plus the technology, you're going to have good results and good outcome. If you have inexperienced surgeons who are not well trained and you put them this, give them this technology, you're going to have a bad outcome. I think that's where we are with this. So you're saying the, there's nothing wrong with the Da Vinci robot? There's really nothing wrong with the system itself. I've been personally using it for 12 years. A lot of other surgeons are using it and I think there is, there is some learning curve and I think we see more and more surgeons are coming in to use it, but there is a right process and right channel to really get there and that's the learning curve. And unless you've done at least two, three hundred plus, you're not going to do well. And that's why the cases are longer and they may have complications. So it's really up to the patients. Mm -hmm. When you interview your surgeons, find out how many cases they have done, who performs my surgery. If the surgeon is going from room to room, multiple rooms that are not present, that's when you're going to have complications. So there's a lot goes... So the emphasis here is on the doctor, on the surgeon here is what you're saying. Yes, absolutely. This robot doesn't do the operation by itself, Ernie. It's not one of the real robots where you press the button and it goes to work. It's really when you choose a robotic surgeon, it's the surgeon behind the robot okay. that does the operation. So you want to make sure that you find that the most experienced person, what kind of complications they've had. What if the robot breaks during the operation? Are they well trained to do the laparoscopic or open? There is a lot. But a lot, a lot of doctors argue there hasn't been enough research done, good research, to show whether this works as well or better than conventional surgery on the robots. Um, well, there is. there has been always a big debate, but I can tell you that as an open surgeon who's done a lot of open surgery, again, today, the mm -hmm. way I, we do the surgery, the surgery in our hands is about an hour case. It it gives you the three dimensional magnification, mm -hmm. you have full range of motion. So if you're comfortable doing these kind of operations, it's a tremendous technology that helps you to have better outcome. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to have this kind of complications, prolonged operations and accidents, which is not necessary. It's up to the hospitals and it's up to the FDA to look in to find out what the credentials are. And I think a lot of hospitals are pushing more surgeons to do these when they're not qualified and that's dangerous. What okay. happens if something goes wrong? Well, you have to have a team. You have to have, that's, that's what we have, for example. I have my own anesthesiologist, our own team. We can troubleshoot whatever it is. Now, it's a good question. If the robot breaks, I have laparoscopic training. Mm -hmm. I can fall back and switch back. So talk to your surgeon and find out about all of these. These are very good questions. It's not the robot. It's the surgeon's experience that you choose. Well, there you have it. Dr. David right. Samadhi, thanks for telling us good all this good information today. Good to see you, of course. Thank you. See you again.